It was described as a modern-day chariot charge, the moment three men were struck down by a car during last summer's riots in Birmingham. The court was shown the graphic moment of impact at the opening of a trial of eight men on murder charges. Families of the victims wept in the public gallery. Our Midlands correspondent, Darshna Sony, has this report. Birmingham Crown Court and the opening day of the trial of eight men accused of deliberately running down their three victims in a coordinated attack. The defendants were driving in three separate cars, the jury heard, during last summer's riots. The prosecution said it was no accident. It was the modern-day equivalent of a chariot charge. And it was deadly. Abdul Musavir, Shahzad Ali and Haroon Jahan were killed. The court was shown CCTV of the moment of impact. Before the footage was played, the jurors were warned that it was deeply shocking. It showed the three cars. One driver appeared to signal to the others with his arm. That same driver in a black Mazda then ran into the victims and their bodies were thrown high into the air. As the video played, relatives began to cry. An argument broke out in the public gallery and the judge had to call a break in the proceedings. Local businesses had been targeted by rioters in the days leading up to the deaths, according to the prosecution. Birmingham saw looting in several areas and there had been tensions between gangs of youths in cars and crowds of mainly Asian men from the community. The alleged victims had been standing in a crowd near this petrol station in Winston Green. It was suggested by the prosecution that one of the cars deliberately drove by in order to draw the crowd into the road. The three men were taken to a local hospital where they were pronounced dead. In the hours and days that followed, with tensions running high, Haroon Jahan's father appealed for calm and won national praise. Mr Jahan is likely to be called as the first prosecution witness. The defendants all deny three counts of murder and the trial is expected to last ten weeks. Darshna Sonny, Channel 4 News at Birmingham Crown Court.